Hey there, dailies. How's it going? Hey, Fred here from the Canadian Daily. And today's adventure, I'm taking you back in time. 35, 36 years, depending on how you calculate the years. Back to 1984, when I was 15. And we took a trip down to Middleborough, Mass. And we ended up at the A&D Toy Train Museum. What a fantastic place. Now let me tell you, I had old video of this and I couldn't find it for years so we're going through VHS tapes of our home video and because it was recorded on VHS and a great big machine and a great big video camera and you look like something that came out of a TV station when you hauled that stuff around so needless to say I didn't think the quality would hold up very well on it well I found it yesterday Yes, yesterday how I found it I don't know it was now a pile of tapes that I'm just going through to get rid of and see what's on them that sort of thing so let me say that the quality was very good you'll be quite impressed with it so I'm not going to really edit it I'm just going to leave it pretty much raw as it is I had to boost the sound a little bit because it's kind of really low it recorded really low on that particular machine that was an oddity on those machines way back then so I had to boost the sound and tweak the color a little bit but other than that I didn't cut anything out straight up flaws and everything because I wanted to preserve it. So I'm putting it up here so everyone can see it. I don't know if there's that many videos of the A&D Toy Train Museum from back in the day or if there's any. So I'm putting this one up. I think there, there probably may be. I did a search but I couldn't really find any. So it doesn't matter. This will just go add to the collection I guess you could say. Now here's something for you. I also have this down in my HO train collection. It is a boxcar with the A&D Toy Train Museum logo on it. I had purchased that back in the day, 1984. I think they had been only open eight weeks, as the man described in the video. And so this is brand spanking new. It's in mint shape. We keep all our trains in mint shape, basically. So that's on our display here. And let me say, the A&D Toy Train Museum inspired me to build a train layout. When I became older and my dad still loves his HO trains, I love my HO trains and I love my Lego trains. So our display is in our garage and I have opened it up to anyone who wants to come see it as well. And I've had people from all over come and see it. Canada, the US, several different provinces and all that so you know it makes one feel good when you can share your hobbies and your likes anyway without further ado let's get into the video i hope you do enjoy it and now let's go back in time 35 years I don't push the pause button this time no you see the two the two little buttons he was using is up here so now he's going to use the right button down there oh yeah how does that look Okay, ready to roll? Good afternoon and welcome to the A&D Toy Train Village in Middleborough, Massachusetts. The collection of trains that you see here is a private collection. We started collecting about 25 years ago and these trains that you can see in this museum come from literally all over the world. We have live steam trains from New Zealand we have O-gauge and other gauge trains from places such as West Germany, East Germany, uh, Russia, Italy, Spain, and of course the United States of America and so forth. Uh, this museum was put up together entirely by volunteers. It took a total of 4,433 man hours to put this museum together. We started construction on September 10th, 1983 it was, and we opened up on June the 3rd, 1984. Up to this point we have had a total of 4,053 visitors already, and they came from over 180 cities and towns in Massachusetts. They came from 36 different states within the United States, and they came from a total of 20 different countries. So it's no longer a backyard operation. <clears throat> the big layout that you will see is a, uh, a layout that consists of two pieces. Number one, you have a 20-foot 
um, layout from the donated by the Foxborough Company, and this is a refinery. And next to it is a 34 foot master layout, which is eight and a half feet high and 11 feet deep at the steepest point. And there are 24 trains running uh, almost simultaneously. Uh, since no human being can comprehend more than five trains at one time over a certain distance, you couldn't focus on them. For that reason, we have arranged in such a way that the layout operates on a computer and a computer tells each train when to stop and when to go. The total of 14 CW transformers stored below that actuate and provide the current to those trains. Uh, the lamps or the lights overhead provide the setting for the day, that is to say that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west and the sun is represented by the light in the ceiling. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We hope you enjoy it. And uh, now let's show you the A&D Toy Train Village main layout. Thank you for coming to the A&D Toy Train Village. Got it? Thank you. And I think my wife wants um, did, did you want a, a package of Willie or, or, or get the or whole get set, the whole set um, of, uh, Match. of matches? Yeah, I think we have only... 
call this trains. I think it's been all day here. Oh. Both of you. Yeah, we're all trained by that. I don't know which one is working. <laughs> they both like yeah. trains. You might be interested. We have a pin. We've sold quite a number of them in the gift, gift shop. It says, pray for me, my husband. Well, wives come in and say, that's mine, give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> that's really lovely about my house. It took them about a year to convert the building. Uh, it, was old, it was an old supermarket originally. Yes, it was seven. It was just empty. From that end, that wall back there, it was just nothing. Just four. This is all built by volunteers. About uh, 4,300 volunteer hours. Put in. Yes. Uh, there are two gentlemen who put in. I bet you could come back a hundred times and see something different each time. What? You know, all things yeah. that you missed. Well, uh, Mr. Arnold, the owner, uh, found that after he put rotated stock from time to time because he, he, could, he just be. could not fit everything into it. So, you know, next time you come. Why? 
wind them up and they just go around in a circle. I had one of those when I was a kid. I never thought I'd see them again. Oh, isn't that something else? For commercial productions, we want to have some copyrights. Yeah. Well, we're not very good. We, just amateurs. We're amateurs. We took a tape down at um, Fall River the other day, a battleship call. Mm -hmm. We got home and played the back. And In fact, our, our layout is in a dining room. We get it built into the wall, like, and it's on a hinge, and we pull it out, and it goes on the dining room table. We, we pad the dining room table, and it drops down on it. So she doesn't have a dining room table a lot of the time. Well, listen, I should show you a movie, a funny train movie. Wife, happily married, and he wants to buy trains. Lionel Reds. Of course, it's a commercial for Lionel. Yes. Oh. <coughs> and uh, he uh, he says, "Yeah, I want to buy some trains." He said, "We don't have some money." Well, he says, uh, "I think I can do this and that makes some money." Well, we don't have some room. Well, we don't have some room. So what he did when she was out, he sold the furniture in the living room. Oh, no. Now he gets the room. It was the money he got for the furniture, he had money. So he went out and bought a Lionel Pants and she came home. Oh my goodness. She was fit to be tight. And his empire grew and grew and grew. And then he had in the dining room, he had a train coming around, this, that, and the other thing. And his mother in law was there, and the train, he was demonstrating, you know, he pushed this button, the dump cart dumps the asparagus, and this brings the cave in, flat guys, the soup bowls on, everything. Flash, you know, <laughs> that thing is so hilarious. And finally, she said, "I give up." And she went to a lawyer to get a divorce because he wouldn't give up his trains. The lawyer listened to her very intently, and all of a sudden, he said, "Ma'am, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but the 813 is coming. I'll see you in a minute." He put his cap on, opened his door, and there's a room full of trains. <laughs> so she couldn't win. <laughs> no, I got that movie in the back, but I don't know if my projector is working properly. Hello there. <laughs> Three weeks ago, mm -hmm. and they took pictures, absolutely breathtaking, fading in, fading out. In other words, they had professional equipment, of oh, course, sure. you know, lights and all. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, how come the UVET light is on? Is that because of you? Uh, maybe he put them on for us, yes, because oh. he asked him he if he put some extra lights yeah, on. Yeah, I could give one. you some extra lights, but what you could do, uh, what you need. I'm in business for almost eight weeks. Tomorrow is going to be eight weeks, so we're still new. What you see here is a private collection of toy trains from all over the world. Uh, the collection has been accumulated in the last 25 years. Uh, what you see behind you this is uh, a 20 master layout. The entire museum was built strictly by volunteers. Nobody got paid here. There were a total of eight people who spent many, many hours, plus 50 some others, for a total of 4,000.